So the reason I'm making this video is to highlight not only the cowardice in a lot of men who profess to be Christian, but also the desire to find other answers other than what is already prescribed to us in the written word of God. I'm going to play a video clip of Vody responding to a man's question in regards to female pastors. The married man who asked the question made it clear that he's not only a coward, but that he's terrified of his wife. So, word for word, this is the man's question to Vody. He says, my wife is not going to let me, like, go home unless I ask this question. My wife just wanted to know why women are not allowed to preach. So he even asked the question like a coward. And I don't mean to be hard, but this is a problem. And why is it a problem? Because if a man cannot lead his own home, and that includes the leading of his own wife, then that man is indeed unfit for quite a few things. Now, when he asked his wife, when his wife asked the question at home, he should have respectfully and lovingly rebuked his wife and then answered their question by taking her to 1 Timothy 2 and 3. And that should have been the end of it. That should have been it. Now, how do I know that his wife already knew the answer to the question and that her question was not about finding out the truth, but was rather about finding loopholes to the truth to fulfill her own fleshly desires? How do I know that? Because the husband, after asking his primary question in regards to female pastors, then says this word for word. If a woman feels that she has the gift to preach, why isn't she allowed? Now, obviously, that was his wife's question, and she made sure he asked that question. So the wife basically exposed that she already knows women aren't allowed to preach, but because her chief desire is not to honor the Lord with her life, but rather to fulfill her own desires, her goal is to find different outcomes. Her goal is to find loopholes to the truth. So without repentance, her, her husband, and anyone like them are in danger of hellfire. And my, my wife is not going to let me, like, go home if I don't ask this question because yeah. she can't ask it. Um, you can answer it after this. Um, she just wanted to know why, why women are not allowed to, to preach in the church. Um, and if, if a woman feels that she has the gift of preaching, why, why isn't she allowed um, to preach? Thanks. All right. First Timothy chapter two and verse 12. I do not permit a woman to teach or exercise authority over a man. Rather, she is to remain quiet. So, cause the Bible says so. Um, and that's it. The other thing is, well, what if a person feels like they have gifts to do that? Uh, no one gets to do everything they feel like they're gifted at. No one does. Um, what if a man who has several wives feels like he's gifted to be a pastor. The Bible says he must be the husband of one wife, right? So just because you feel like you're gifted to do something, that doesn't give you the right to overthrow biblical qualifications. Um, the office of the elder, uh, Paul says, you know, when he's talking about the elder, he must be the husband of one wife. He's talking about man, okay? That office is exclusively for men. Um, that's the office of the pastor teacher. Um, so if the office is exclusively for men, and the Bible is very clear that women are not to teach or exercise authority over men, there's absolutely no room um, for women to be in that office or to exercise that authority in the church.